what's up programmers welcome back so today we'll be looking at a program based on the arithmetic operators that we have learned in the previous uh, lecture basically this was going this was going to be a part of the previous video but because the previous video got too long uh, we could not find the time to get this programmed okay so today's program will be to find the simple interest okay so you must be familiar with the formula for simple interest you must have used it in your math class okay so the formula states such that your simple interest is equal to pnr upon 100 and now i'll discuss what each symbol in this formula means basically your si is your simple interest that you will get now p is your principal amount or your amount that you borrow so say suppose i am lending some amount of money to you guys okay so the amount that i lend you is the p that's the principal amount okay then n is the number of years for which i have lent you money so say if i have uh, lent you money for say two years okay so i will calculate how much interest will we get after the two years okay and the rate of interest is how much interest rate i'll get uh, uh, that you have to pay okay on this principal amount and so that's it for the formula so let's quickly jump into the code and let's get coding okay so i've just quickly created a class called as simple interest and wrote down a main uh, so if you don't remember how to do it you just click right click on the default package go to new and look for class and just give it a name over here that's it and finish it you'll get something like this okay so now let's quickly uh, start out with the variables that we'll be needing so we got four variables right so we got four variables si p n and r okay so we'll have si now a key thing to note over here is your simple interest can be a decimal value also so we need to declare it as a float or a double now i'll prefer a double over here okay now we got si now we need our principal amount that's the amount that is borrowed then your number of years and the rate of interest now the amount that we borrow is most probably going to be an integer so i'll just put it as an int okay uh, say i lend you some thousand okay dollars rupees euros that's based on what you want to assume okay now let's look at the rate of interest now the rate of interest can be your decimal value say suppose i lend you at uh, interest of say 12.5 percent okay so this value will be a double you can also have it as float so that's not a problem which is equal to say we'll say 12.5 for that matter uh, then we also need the number of years that i'll be lending you money okay so that uh, years can also be like two and a half years uh, say th or three years so it can also be a floating point number so we'll also have this as double we'll say say two and a half years okay so now we'll just simply apply the formula over here and we'll get our answer so the formula was such that your simple interest is equal to your p into n that's the number of years into the rate of interest the whole divided by 100 okay so basically if you want to divide the whole by 100 what you can do is you can put a bracket around this okay and then apply a division on 100 okay so now we have got our s simple interest computed now let's print this simple interest on the screen so the message that will display is the calculated interest is si okay so this is how we got our simple interest uh, so let's quickly try to run this code so we'll right click run run as a java application and if you just look down so we calculated our interest okay so if i lend you this much amount of money for 2.5 years that's uh, two years and six months uh, at a rate of interest of say 12.5 i'll get this much amount of interest after two years okay now this was only the interest okay so how much amount will i receive after the 2.5 years okay so your amount is nothing but your principal amount plus your simple interest so for this case i'll have a double amount because simple interest can also be a double value so double amount is equal to nothing but your 
principal amount plus simple interest okay so now let's uh, quickly print this also on the screen so uh, we'll print the total amount you will receive is the amount okay so we have done this now let's run this program and let's look at the output again okay so this much will be the interest that you receive after two and a half years and this much will be the total amount that you receive okay this will be including your interest okay so if you lend your someone this much amount of money for two and a half years and uh, say 12.5 percent so after two and a half years you'll get this much amount of money in total okay so this one was a really short tutorial this was basically uh, to make your concepts clear and how the arithmetic operators are used in the program uh, to show you that so this was basically going to be a part of the previous uh, video but because the time exceeded we could not do that so that's it for this tutorial please do subscribe to our channel like our videos and do provide your suggestions in the comment section below and also if you want any other program that to be solved in java specifically uh, then please put it in the dis uh, your comment section and we'll be happy to help you out so have a great day